Why can we say chairs and not furnitures, gold bars and not golds? Let's talk about mass nouns or non-count nouns in this video today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now this topic right here is something that confuses a lot of people. Marami pa rin tayo nakikita on a daily basis ng mga people who pluralize things by adding an S kahit na mass noun siya or non-count noun siya. Kaya very important for us to talk about these words in context. Now, we already have a video about uh, compound nouns and um, other types of nouns. If you haven't seen those yet, nakalink na lang din sila sa i button and sa description box ng video na ito. But today we're going to talk about a lot of other newer words na maaring hindi nyo pa alam or hindi natin nasama sa mga discussions na yun. Alright? Now, before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is by being a channel member. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click right here. Check out the link din sa baba to find out how you can do that. Thank you sa lahat ng mga rookies, MVPs, and members natin dito sa team na ito. Maraming salamat sa inyo for helping us create all of these videos. Again, your monthly contribution goes towards the Hope Fund where we get the resources that we need for the scholarships and for the equipment and stuff like that. So salamat na marami sa inyo. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Right. So ito yung discussion natin on mass nouns or non countable nouns, non-count nouns. Iba iba kasi yung tawag sa kanila. Eh. And yun yung una natin pag-uusapan. Merong uh, ibang places na ang tawag sa kanila ay non-countable nouns, merong non-count nouns, pero basically magkakapareho hindi sabihin nila. These are nouns na walang plural form. Ibig sabihin, kung singular man siya o plural, same yung word na ginagamit for it. Hindi kailangan lagyan ng S as we would dun sa mga regular na mga nouns. Or ibahin yung salita. For example, ang ball, di ba? Bola, isang bola lang yon. Pag balls, ibig sabihin marami na yung bola mo. Child ay isang bata, children ay maraming bata. Pero sa case ng mass nouns, it's going to be the same word for both singular or plural. Or there's another way for you to emphasize na marami sila. Okay? Now, again, these are nouns then that cannot be counted. Na nami mga pagkakataon ng ganoon, kagaya ng sugar, kagaya ng air, kagaya ng effort, right? Hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihin na binigay ko ang dalawang effort ko. Sa anime lang yata 'yon, no? Sa <laughs> sa Dragon Ball Z or sa or sa um Flame of Reka or uh, sa Ghost Fighter yung mga ganong klasing mga usapan na minibigay yung mga porsyento or effort, no? Pero pagdating sa English, sa mass nouns, it's going to be Something then na hindi mo kayang bilangin, as in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the same way na ang water ay hindi mo kayang bilangin, pero ang bottles of water ay kaya mong bilangin. Okay? Now, to better um, emphasize this, kailangan natin pag-usapan kung bakit ito importante. Now, kung medyo nandito kayo para lang sa practical na application, ang sasabihin ko would be, lagi itong lumalabas sa exams. Maraming sentence correction questions ang gumagamit ng mga mass nouns dahil alam namin na gumagawa ng exams na hindi nyo yun napapansin. These words, dahil din sa maling paggamit, sa regular na pamumuhay, ay eh, nakakasanayan ng gamitin kahit madiri naman sila. So, ang una muna natin kailangan pag-usapan is that pagdating sa mass nouns, you cannot add an S to make a mass noun plural. Hindi mo pwedeng lagyan ng S ang furniture para maging furnitures. Okay? Kasi ang furniture, pwede na siya sa kahit isang silya lang yan, o kahit na isang buong dining set yan, it's still furniture. Mali yung furnitures. Okay? But again, comment na lang, like nyo na lang yung video kung naranasan nyo na may nagsabi sa inyo na furnitures. ba? Maraming gumagamit ng ganyan. Softwares, ganun din. Pero ang software, furniture, dapat walang S. Okay? Now, another reason is that merong mga quantifiers that don't work with mass nouns. Now, ano yung mga quantifiers natin? Uh, some, a few, little, you know, many, much. May mga quantifiers na pwede sa regular na nouns, 
pero hindi pwede sa mass nouns. Pwede sa countable nouns, pero hindi pwede sa uncountable nouns. Meron ding pwede sa mass nouns or uncountable nouns, pero hindi pwede sa countable nouns. Now, I have a separate discussion noon. If you haven't seen that, ililink ko na lang din dito sa i-button if you're watching on YouTube. Kasi mm, mas maganda yung mga examples na nandun. At saka meron tayong quick quiz din dun sa lesson na yon. Okay? So go ahead and watch that after this. But this is the table nung discussion na yon. Again, for countable nouns, pwede mong gamitin yung many at saka yung few. Yung non-countable nouns or hindi pwedeng bilangin, kagaya ng water, sugar, you say much or little. Yung some, pwede sa both, pero pwede lamang kung meron, I have some water. Pero pag wala ka ng tubig, you say, I don't have any water. So again, this discussion right here, you can watch na lang dito sa separate video. Nasa description box din sa baba. Okay? So again, two things na kailangan natin tandaan. Does that word even exist? Okay? Ibig sabihin, pwede ko ba siyang gawing plural with an S or hindi? And then the second factor would be, aling quantifier ang kailangan kong gamitin? Tama ba yung quantifier na ginagamit ko? Now, the next question would be, paano ko siya aayusin? How do I fix it? How do I know kung yung sentence ko ay may mali? Now, ang first nating example would be this. Sabi dito, we brought four luggages. No? And if you've seen yung TikTok quick quiz natin uh, a few days ago, you probably noticed that word, yung luggages. Bakit? Kasi ang luggages, ang luggage kasi, okay, is a mass noun or a non-countable noun. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya pwedeng may S. So, ka, paano ko siya aayusin? Paano ko aayusin ang sentence na ito? Now, ang option number one would be to replace the mass noun with its synonym. Or, papalitan natin yung salitang luggages ng isang bagay na pareho ang ibig sabihin. Now, dahil ang luggages, di ba, kadalasan, di ba, lalo na sa Pilipinas, these are just bags. No? Minsan kasi trunk eh. Alam, kung alam niyo yung trunk, di ba? Katulad ng kung nanonood kayo na Harry Potter, yung malalaking boxes that they have. And, it's one of my dreams to own one of those eh. Yun yung ginagamit din as a luggage. Pero sa Pilipinas, dahil these are usually just bags, pwede mong palitan yung word ng lug na luggages. Dahil nga walang word naman na luggage, just, dapat luggage lang, palitan mo siya ng bags. So we brought four bags instead of luggages. Medyo awkward din kasi. Actually, hindi lang awkward, mali rin eh. Sabihin na we brought four luggage. Okay? Kasi... Again, hindi siya pwedeng bilangin eh. Hindi siya, hindi siya countable. So, bakit mo lalagyan ng four? Akala ko ba hindi pwedeng bilangin? Okay? So, anong gagawin natin? Replace it with a synonym or a word that means the same thing. So, we brought four bags instead. That way, tama na yung sentence mo. Now, the second option would be for you to replace the quantifier. Now, ano ba yung quantifier natin dito? Itong number na to, di ba? Four kasi. Now, kung... Kung ayaw natin gamitin yung for, at gusto natin i-retain yung word na luggage, ang pwede natin gawin would be to take that out and sabihin natin na we brought some luggage. Okay? Or, sa totoo lang, pwede mo, niyang, mo nang i-drop yung quantifier. We brought luggage na lang. Okay? So, it's either you put some, kasi meron kang dala. Again, some is used for non-count and countable nouns. Pwede, pwede naman siyang gamitin as long as positive yung statement. Kaya pwede natin lagay na some. Or, kung feeling mo hindi naman magsasuffer yung gusto mong sabihin doon sa iyong sentence, i-drop mo na lang. You say, you brought luggage instead. Okay? Para that way, tama na yung sentence natin. Now, there's a third option, which would be this. You can insert a countable noun sa harap nung ating mass noun. Tapos lalagyan mo nung preposition na of. Okay? Now, bakit? Kasi that would turn the sentence into something na pwede mo na talagang bilangin. So instead of we brought four luggages, kung ayaw mo tanggalin yung salitang four kasi gusto mo i-emphasize na apat talaga yung bags, di ba? Kung kunwari may bellboy or bellman na nagsabi sa'yo na ilan yung bags ninyo, sasabihin mo, syempre kung ilan. Hindi mo pwede sabihin na lang, lang na we brought some luggage or we brought a few bags. Hindi pwede. Kailangan sabihin mo kung ilang piraso. Kung gusto mo i-retain yung word na four, lalagyan natin siya ng countable noun plus of. So, ito yung ating bagong sentence. We brought four pieces of luggage. Bakit? Kasi ang pieces, countable na yan. Two pieces, three pieces, eight pieces, right? So, dahil meron siyang pieces of, pwede na yung sentence na to. So, again, insert a countable noun plus the word of. Okay? 
So we brought four pieces of luggage is correct. All right, now ito yung fourth way of fixing it. You can insert the phrase amount of, okay? Now, whether ang iyong mass noun ay luggage, di ba? Sa case na ito, pwede mo sabihin na you brought an amount of luggage or a certain amount of luggage. Pwede mo siyang gamitin kasi, again, uncountable yung ating noun. Pwede rin siya for other more abstract words like determination, di ba? It requires a certain amount of determination, an amount of determination, di ba? Huwag lang natin gagamitin yung number of or quantity of. Okay, kasi hindi siya pwede for mass nouns or non-countable nouns. Bakit? Kasi nga hindi mo siya magbibilang eh. Pag sinabi mo a number of, eh hindi may number, eh wala ngang number. A quantity of, eh wala ngang, hindi nga siya quantifiable or hindi mo nga siya mabilang. So you can't use the phrase quantity of or number of. Instead, use amount of na lang. Okay? So we brought an amount of luggage. That could work. And so awkward lang. So sa akin, for this particular case, dito sa sentence natin na we brought four luggages na gusto nating ayusin kasi hindi nga pwede yung word na luggages, mas maganda sa akin, para walang mawala na value dun sa sentence na yon ang gagamitin ko would be yung third option, which would be we brought four pieces of luggage. Para that way, specific pa rin yung dami, pero tama na yung sentence natin. Okay. Now, depende na sa inyo kung paano nyo aayusin yung mga sentence, paano nyo siya i-construct. Ang importante, you understand the difference between a uh, mass noun or a non-countable noun or a non-count noun and yung regular na mga nouns na meron tayo that we can convert from singular to plural form. Now, here are some examples of mass nouns. Uh, Nakadivide siya sa categories. Hiniram ko yung categories from uh, grammarmonster.com. Inayos ko lang no, by saying that it's an abstract concept para lang mas malinaw sa atin isipin. Pero some of the examples din are from that website. Ito yung link. No? Pero dinagdagan ko siya nung iba pa kasi may marami pang ibang mass nouns. Sa totoo lang, hindi ito kompleto ha, na list. And you will encounter them on a fairly daily basis yan. Kaya mag take note na lang kayo dun sa mga wala sa listahan na ito. Pero this is a good start. Medyo marami na rin naman. And para makakuha tayo ng grasp dun sa idea. Okay? So abstract concepts, pag sinabi natin abstract, ibig sabihin hindi siya mahahawakan, hindi siya kumaga masusukat din. Kagaya ng fun, di ba? How much fun did you have? You don't say how many fun did you have? Kasi hindi natin pwedeng bilangin yung fun. Pwede mo siya i-rate sa quality, di ba? Pero hindi mo pwedeng bilangin sa quantity. So, this is a mass noun. Ganon din sa knowledge, information, anger, anticipation, all of these feelings, concepts, these are mass nouns. Now, yung activity, kagaya ng homework, hindi natin pwede sabihing homeworks. Okay? Singing is an activity. Reading, fishing, chess. Ang chess is a game, yes. Pero you don't say now we played two chess. Diba? You say we played two games of chess. Ganon din sa basketball if you're talking about the game and not the actual ball. Kaya yan may asterisk right there. Kasi yung basketball na bola lang, as in yung orange na bola, that can be counted. One basketball. Pero if you're talking about the game, how many games did you play? Diba? You don't say two basketball. You say two basketball games. Or two games of basketball. Two rounds diba? of 21. Diba? You don't say that the basketball as a game itself is a countable noun. You have to add the word game, okay, or games of before. So food, we have bread, butter, cheese, fish, milk, bacon, and cream. Again, we don't say two cream or four cream. Nalagyan natin sila sa containers, di ba? Four bags of cream, four cups of milk, uh, three kilos of bacon, and dami nun, no? But we don't say three bacon. I think three pieces, Three strips, but you don't say three bacon. Okay? Gas, ganun din. Okay? How much steam do you have to produce? Um, how much air do you need? Diba? You don't say three air. Ganun din sa, li sa liquid, no? Ang beer, hindi mo pwede sabihin three beer. Three bottles of beer. Three cans of beer. Three pints of blood. Pwede yun. Pero uh, hindi pwedeng sakto na three blood lang. Okay? Material, ganun din. Here are some examples. Cloth, concrete, pati mud. Diba? Hindi naman binibilang yan. Yung, uh, meron din tayo sa item categories. These are really important to note kasi dito madalas magkamali ibang tao. People sometimes use the word equipments. 
diba? Clothings, furnitures, baggages, luggages, garbages, no? Mali po yun. Pati ang money, hindi rin siya countable. So we say, how much money do you have? Pero we don't say, how many money? Diba? What is the amount of money that you have? Pero you don't say, what is the number of money that you have? So it's also a mass noun. Okay, merchandise din. Walang merchanda- merchandises, ha? Jewelries, no? Yung jewelry kasi contestable yan. Pero ang jewelry talaga, uh, traditionally, is, an, is a mass noun. Okay, yung iba lang nakasanayan na sabihin yung jewelries. Ayan. Do you wear any jewelry? Diba? Software din. Category din yan. Wala rin S yan. Okay, natural phenomenon. Kagaya ng thunder, weather, warmth. Hindi mo pwede sabihin na three warmth or three rain. Diba? Few rain, we say a little rain. Okay, so again, these are mass nouns. Particles din, yung mga may maliliit na grains, flour, grit, salt, sugar, dust, rice, and wheat. And again, many more. Para meron kayong general idea ng ano yung mga mass, mass nouns na encounter natin on a daily basis. Okay? Now, ang pinaka-test dito would be your quiz. So, ano ang gagawin sa quiz na ito? I'm going to give you a paragraph and then I want you to spot all the mass nouns and kung paano sila ginamit and then i-revise nyo sila. Okay? So, ang unang activity would be hanapin sila and then number two, determine kung tama yung paggamit. Number three, baguhin kung kinakailangan. Tapos ipapakita ko sa inyo how I would edit it kung ako yung nag-edit. Pero again, there are many options out there. I'll explain my own. Ang importante, mas spot nyo yung errors. Alright? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts. Now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, we have yung first part here. Hinati ko lang para may space tayo for the corrections. No? Ito yung una nating uh, mass noun. We have the word wisdom. Ang nakalagay dito, you gain many wisdom. Now, ang wisdom, hindi siya pwedeng bilangin as many. Okay? Kasi nga, again, mass noun siya. The word many is exclusive sa mga countable nouns. Diba? You have many bottles of water. You have many cups of rice. Pero ang wisdom, hindi pwede. Many books pa siguro, pero yung wisdom, hindi. So, what do we do? Tatanggalin natin yung word na many. Now, pwede natin yung palitan. You can gain a lot of wisdom. You can gain an amount of wisdom. You can gain so much wisdom. No? Pwede natin lagyan ng ganun. Pero kahit natanggalin na lang natin, pwede na rin. Okay? Kasi we don't say wisdoms naman eh. Okay? Hindi kailangan lagyan ng S yan. Again, it's a mass noun. From reading books and paying a number of money... To go to good schools. Now, yung a number of, mali po yan. Bakit? Kasi again, money is a mass noun. Ang number of, ginagamit lang natin sa mga countable na nouns. So, what we can say instead would be a huge amount of or an amount of. Sa akin, nilagay ko lang yung huge kasi mukhang yun ang gusto niya sabihin. Pero again, an amount of is also a great answer. Okay? So, yung ating first sentence magiging You can gain wisdom from reading books and paying an amount of money to go to good schools. However, next sentence na tayo, how few knowledge you acquire. Okay, so knowledge is another word right there. Diba? Now, the word few, hindi siya pwede sa mass nouns. Pwede siyang a little, pero hindi few. So, tatanggalin na lang natin siya. Okay? However, how little knowledge pwede. Okay, so papalitan natin siya ng little. How little knowledge you acquire depends on the... Okay, ito. Baka hindi na spot. The word homeworks, again, is a mass noun. Pwede natin tanggalin na lang yung S. Okay, so however, how little knowledge you acquire depends on the homework you can accomplish. Pwede mo yan singitan ng the amount of homework you can you accomplish. 
Uh, pero kung hindi naman kailangan, pwede na ring hindi. Sa, sa case ko, hindi ko na nalagay. Kasi meron na tayong amount of dito. Ayoko naman na kasunod na sentence, may amount of na naman. Okay, next tayong part. I'm not just talking about the works you do. So, may mali doon, no? Yung works. Hindi po pwedeng works. Dapat work lang. Na kung gusto ko i-stress yung dami ng work na ginagawa, pwede kong ilagay na amount of work. It's, I'm not just talking about the amount of work you do using the many softwares employed these days. Okay, softwares. Mali yan. Okay? Pwede na yan. I'm not just talking about the amount of work you do using the software software employed these days. Actually, mo kailangan ng many eh. Kasi many na agad naman talaga yung software dun sa sentence. So, pwede na natin tanggalin yan. So, I'm not just talking about the amount of work you do using the software employed these days. It's the few. Okay, tatanggalin ko yung few. Kasi ang perseverance, this is an abstract concept. Hindi rin natin ito binibilang. Okay? Hindi by number. So, what we say instead of you would be little. It's the little perseverance that you gain whenever you choose to do what is right. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng few, pero pwedeng little. Or, kung gusto nyo tanggalin, pwede rin. It's the perseverance that you gain whenever you choose to do what is right. So, it's the perseverance that you gain. Hindi kailangan nung little, pero kung gusto mong lagyan, pwede mong lagyan. Little lang, hindi pwede ang few. Okay? Those tiny sweats that form on your temple. Now, ang sweats ay mali. Kung ibig sabihin niya ay yung pawis, okay, ang sweat, di ba, is a liquid mass noun. So, we just say sweat. Pero, I feel, ang gusto niya sabihin ay yung mga butil-butil na pawis dun sa ating, di ba, sa temple natin kapag tayo ay nag-iisip ng maigi, no, or nagtatrabaho. So, I would say, maglalagay na lang ako ng, magsisingit ako ng countable noun here, I would say beads of sweat. Those tiny beads of sweat, di ba, pwede mo nang lagyan ng S yung beads kasi ano na siya, countable na yung bead eh. Okay, that form on your temple, gather, and turn into a wave of discipline that will push you forward in life. Okay, so those are just some of the examples. I'm trying my best to make it as, ano ba, integrated as possible sa way that we frame things. At saka, again, yung concept naman at yung error na ito pagdating sa mga mass nouns ay kadalasan lumalabas sa sentence correction part ng exam. So, at least alam ninyo na yung mga... Uh, words na yan ay dapat ipag-ingatan ninyo sa exam kasi doon lumalabas lagi yung mga tao na nagsasagot ng ay hindi, no error na yan, okay na yan pero yun pala merong mass noun sila or uncountable noun na hindi napansin okay? so tandaan nyo yung uh, mga words na yan find out more if you know even more you can type them sa comment section sa video na ito kung nabiti naman kayo sa quiz we have more coming up so don't forget to follow me on Instagram it's at like Marivella for my personal account that's where I post my new quick questions so um, dun yung makikita yung mga bagong tanong nagpapapol tayo dun sa Instagram story para ma-check ma ninyo yung inyong knowledge and of course at team Malika din on Instagram for uh, throwback quick quiz questions and uh, important announcements sa mga susunod nating mga gagawin and if you have a TikTok account, I post at least one a day na quick quiz question, math or English. So you can follow me at Team Laika on TikTok. And if you want more personal stuff, motivational videos, tips, advice, at kung ano-ano pa, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla on TikTok. All right, see you online. All right, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Alam nang mag-exam din sila. Dato yung salamit tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlike for more information. If you also want to support our channel by buying our merch like this hoodie right here, this is the Trying Hard Hoodie. You can go and check out our shop at shop.teamlaika.com and uh, find out kung merong mga shirt designs, cap designs, or stuff that you are interested in. Sa mga nakabili na, maraming salamat. Sa mga bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. At kung wala namang pambili, that's also fine. Uh, let's just don't forget to thank the channel members and everyone supporting this channel kasi uh, they are the ones helping me to fund this so I can keep making all of these free videos for you. All right? Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kain yan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you're interested to learn more, there's a new video right here that you can click on and watch. And subscribe to my second channel if you want to get to know me a little bit better. See you soon.